and today I'm going to show you something I got in the post today. It is the Dread sequel comic Geary's. Sequel to the Dread 2012 movie. And this is the final, so I've been told, part to the movie series. And it cost $3.99, that's dollars, stated there. Go away, cat. And the art is by Paul Davidson. The colours by Len O'Grady. Letters by Ellie Deville. And the cover art by Pi Ma. And the script by Arthur Wyatt and Alex DeCampi. And it is the continuation of the movie. And it's based around this guy. Marmar's Tech Wizard. And I can tell you, it was in the prog, but it's much better as a comic. It's quite a long comic. All the parts that were in the prog. And it is well worth a read. So, get and read it. As you can see behind me, all my badges are where they should be now. On my wall. Well, on my shelves. And they look pretty damn awesome. So, while I've got your attention, I thought I would show you this. This is my personal lawgiver. It's different to most other people's because I had to have this part here replaced because I dropped it. As you can see, it chipped and I got a replacement part which is a lot thicker. But because I'm Britsit, it's just slightly different to a normal one. And if you look carefully here, you can see my personal serial number and ID plate. It reads serial number 180812, that's my wedding day, and then 260513. That's my daughter's birthday. And then 7815. That's my son's birthday. And then it says Britsit. Because I'm a Britsit officer. The mag is removable. With a little bit of difficulty with one hand. There we go. And the bullets can be removed as well. But I'm not going to do that because it's a bit tricky to put them in. You can see it is a 3D print and it's made by Proton Pop Props. This was their prototype, so I got the first version of it. The screen is slightly smaller than it is on other versions, but this was their prototype. Their newer version is probably more accurate. I got this last year. As you can see, it's based around a Glock, it even says Glock there, and it's non-movable trigger, it's completely convention safe, and it's quite hefty. Fits inside my holster really well, as you've seen in pictures. Other than that, I don't really talk, want to talk about much today, so I'm going to enjoy my comic. Just thought I'd show everyone. Have a great day. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Bye.